Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, let us see how we can create this energy ball effect inside Adobe After Effects using some techniques. So I hope you will find this tutorial useful and without any further ado, let us start this. So here we are in After Effects now, let us start this by importing our footage onto this project panel. Further right click on this project panel, import selective footage or else you can directly drop your footage onto this project panel. Now again drop your footage onto this composition icon here. Now move forward in time and where really you want to add this NG ball effect. But before do that I don't want this entire clip. So I will be trimming out here. So I want to have my clip from here. So beyond that frame, press B on the keyboard for a beginning. Move to the frame where you want to have your last end frame. So till this frame, I want to have this clip. So beyond the frame, press N on the keyboard. Now right click here and trim come to work area. So we got our workspace here. Nice. Now move forward in timeline where you want to start this energy ball effect. So I want to start this energy ball effect from this frame. So be on the frame, select this layer, go to this edit options and split layer. Now move forward in timeline where you want to end this energy ball effect. So I want to end this effect at this frame where I will snap in this fingers where I will snap the fingers. So be on this frame at this point again go to this edit and there is a split layer nice so let me bring it forward and let me rename this as tracking so we need to track this layer so select this track layer press i on the keyboard to come to the beginning frame of this particular layer go to this tracker options if you're not finding this tracker options go to this window and enable tracker from here so select your tracking layer click on this track motion so we got a tracking point here so let me stretch out this so i will be tracking this complete portion here this complete area if there is a tracking point in this certain area it will have been nice since there is no tracking area i will be tracking this entire area so let, i think this corner let it be let it be at this position so i will be doing manually this tracking so it's not a problem for me so after setting this tracking point click on this analyze forward frame by frame so let me do that so so let me drag this here like this if you are a bit off a part simply you can arrange it manually like this arrange your tracking point whenever it is off from its position so i will be fast forwarding this process since it gonna take time as I am doing it manually frame by frame so once the tracking is done we got our track points here now come to this starting frame press I on the keyboard to reach the starting frame now go to this layer options and you create a null object now click on this edit target in tracker Click on that edit target, select your null object just which we have created now and hit ok. Now click on this apply button and apply it to x and y dimensions and hit ok. So our tracking has been attached to this null now. Fine. Now right click on this project panel, create a new composition. Let me rename this to energy ball. Now hit Okay, let the default settings as it is. Let me change this resolution to quarter. Now create a new solid layer by going to this layer, a new solid. Let me rename this to fractal. Now come to this effects and presets. If you're not finding this effects and presets, again go to this window and enable effects and presets. 
and look for fractal noise select this fractal noise and wrap it onto this layer now change this fractal type to dynamic progressive change this contrast to 250 brightness minus 25 let this noise type be to linear let me see what we get after so i think click on this invert button it looks this pattern looks much better so click on this invert option now be on the first frame click on this evolution stopwatch move to the last frame and change this evolution value to 10 so now let us see this so we got this kind of animation after doing these settings now again select this fractal come to this effects and presets and look for sphere so select this cc sphere and drop it onto this fractal now come to this light options light height change to 100 light intensity change to 150 or else 200 has changed to 200 now come to this rotation options beyond the first frame enable keyframe now this y rotation move to the last frame and change this value to 5 so we got this rotation kind of effect along with this pattern evolving kind of effect here nice now let me change this color so for that come to this light color so i will be using this blue use your preferred color over here so i will be changing this to blue color okay nice. now select this fractal layer press ctrl plus d to duplicate or else go to this edit option and duplicate it now select this below layer now change this contrast to 200 brightness to minus 50 move to the last frame change this evolution to 5 now let me change this above fractal mode to if you're not finding this mode options click on this toggle switches so you will get that change this mode to screen and select this below layer once again come to the slight options and let me change this to somewhat orange now let us see this so we got some this blue and orange kind of evolution effect happening here so now let us add some glow to this below layer so let me go to this effects and presets and look for glow drop this glow onto this below layer so okay so let me reduce this glow threshold to 50 and increase this glow radius to 75 would be fine now duplicate this again by pressing ctrl plus d so we got this cool effect going here now again select this below layer go to this effects and presets and look for a radial fast blur select this cc radial fast blur and drop it onto this below layer now come to this mo change it to 85 a zoom change to brightness now let us see this so we got this cool effect after adding this radial fast blur now select this above fractal layer go to this layer options auto trace make sure to apply this to a new layer check on this option and hit ok so we got a new layer with the name auto trace now you can go to this fx and presets and look for saber this is an external plugin which you can download it for free i will provide a download link in the description download it from there so apply this saber onto this auto tracer layer now come to this customize core options first and change that to layer mask and change this blend mode to screen and let me change this preset to fusion so you can choose whichever you like there are plenty of presets here you can choose any of the one i will be leaving it to fusion and the color i will be changing it to which blue okay this looks cool to me okay now let us add some more effects to this so for that again go to this layer options new create a solid let me rename this to optical 
Now again go to this effects and presets and look for optical flares. This is this is also a plugin. Let me drop it here. Now come to this options. Come to this light and I will be choosing this one beam and hit OK. Now let me change this blend mode to screen and let me position it at the center like this you can drop it below to this fractal layer okay so let me reduce the scaling to 25 or else 50 i think 50 would be fine and brightness let me change to 125 okay so again let me add some flicker effect to this so flickering speed change to 50 amount 25 let me drop it make it as last layer okay nice so we got this cool looking energy ball effect here now click on this footage once again come to this project drop your energy ball composition here drop it onto this timeline so we got our energy ball composition here so change its blend mode to screen let me reduce the scaling to 35 or else uh, let me reduce increase this to I think 75 would be fine let me change this blend mode to lighten or else add because we are getting these edges here because of this optical flares if you want to get rid of that simply select this layer select this ellipse tool and simply drag it here like this and come to this mask options change this feather value to 50 okay so we got rid of that nice so move forward in timeline here now place this energy ball this place this energy ball at this point so we want this energy ball to be here floating now pick whip to this null or else you can directly change parent to null one so now let me show you that so it follows our tracking null here you can see it is following the tracking position so finally press i here come to this first frame here we don't want our energy ball to be standing out straightly so select your energy ball press s on the keyboard click on this scale option reduce its scaling to zero move few frames forward like at this frame where you want to reveal completely that energy ball now changed to 75 so now let us see the preview of this press 0 for ramp preview so it is coming from this position so we need to have this from this point so let us do that now press p on the keyboard for position options enable keyframe of this position move to this first frame of this tracking layer select this position and bring its position to here like this now let us see this okay looks fine now now at the end where i snap it should end so at this snapping point let me trim it out by holding art plus bracket nice so it ends here If you want to increase the glow of that so you can do that by simply going to this fractal options where is this glow select this glow and increase it by duplicating 
the control plus D so it gets doubled here so in this way we can create this energy ball effect in Adobe After Effects easily so I hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new from this please click on that like button do provide your valuable feedback or comment so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me so we will meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye